Alright, what's up YouTube? This is Ashton Reef again. Well, I've been searching for a DIY protein skimmer. Really nothing on YouTube. So I'm going to make one. Now, there's really no good plans on the internet. I've seen them all, checked them all out. So I'm pretty much just going from scratch here. Hoping it'll work. We'll test it out as we go, of course. So this is going to be part one of the pieces you're going to need. Now, I've got a pretty large tank. So I'm going with four inch here. Got the end cap. This is about 18 inches tall. The water line in my sump way down here. And I'm going to pump it up to about here. Now, the longer you can keep the water in this tube, the better. It takes around two minutes to remove some of the particles from the water. So if you can keep the water in this tube for two minutes, you're good. So I'm going to use a really, really slow pump to pump in down here. Now, what you're going to need up at the top here, this is going to take you from 4 inch to 1 and a half. You can go 4 inch to 2 inch, 4 inch to 1 inch. It depends on 3 inch, whatever tubes you pick. Again, this is for the size of your tank. Now, I didn't spend much. I bought a lot of stuff here, around 50 bucks. Now, that's not too bad. I'm also going to be making a canister filter out of this as well after for a freshwater tank that I have. So I'll put that up on YouTube as well. Now, what we're going to do, this is my concept, this piece here will go on here. You need a sleeve as well, unfortunately, when you're building everything, they need sleeves to fit together. So we sleeve these two pieces together, slide them on there. Now I've got a short black piece here, smoking kills. Right, so we're going to put that up there. That's where our foam's going to come out. Put my catch cup on top here. And that's pretty much it. Pretty easy. Pretty sweet. Now, this is part one, of course. I will do part two, maybe part three. Who knows? We've got to piece it together. Until then, peace out. This is Ashton Reef.